and I'm going to go ahead and start. So first you open your Photoshop and I'm going to bring an image in. So let's minimize. So I'm going to grab this image right here, drag it right in here and hit enter. Okay. Now two things, two ways you can remove background. You can remove it by using, you know, this is the old way and before we do that. I'm going to rasterize. Rasterize means you want to make, make sure the background becomes a pixel. So and notice how I'm taking backgrounds out. Now notice that the background is white. This is locked. I'm going to double click on the background and I'm going to open it up so you can see that it becomes transparent. Okay. So I'm going to undo what I just did. So that's using the lasso tool. Okay. So you have different types of selection. So experiment with the polygon lasso, your lasso, and the magnetic. The main two you're going to use is lasso or polygon. That's an option. Another quick way is using the quick selection tool. You can actually click and drag on the outside, but sometimes is not perfect. And I hit delete and look what happens. It's not perfect, but you have to take your time and it can be done correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and undo what I just did. Another way which is easier. This is a new Photoshop. So you go to select, select mask. Okay. And I'm going to cancel first. And I'm going to do this again. Let's delete. Start from the top. So now we're going to go to file. We're going to drag this in. Hit enter. And I'm going to go to where right, you're going to go to select and go to select mask, which is you're going to create like a mask, which and you're going to click artificial intelligence. Okay. But before that, let's do here and select mask. So now we're in the mask mode. Let's bring our color down so we can see it. Okay. So now, what I did, you have the transparency, you can slide in and out. Notice that the whole thing goes. So if I go here and I click select subject, this artificial intelligence by one click allows you to go in and lock in the background. See that? But there's some areas that we still got to fix. So I'm going to go in with my magnifying glass and zoom in. And I'm going to click the quick selection brush and I'm going to click add the plus because I want to bring this back so I'm going to drag it in see how I brought that back in I noticed that we need to get rid of this part so I'm going to go ahead and click on the minus and I'm going to go ahead and minus that right in between pretty easy we got some missing parts I need to add those back in click on the plus Okay, looks good. All right, so now I'm going to click right here and I'm going to go to the black and white layer. Notice that the edges are a little jagged. So by using the black and white, I can go here and feather the edge. So it gives it a nice little blur and I'm going to smooth that out. So it's not jagged. Bring it back up a little bit. Bring the smooth down just too much. You don't want it too much. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the transparency up. Uh, where's my transparency? And then go back. And then go back to onion. And now. You got the background and now it's out. So I'm going to click OK. And now we have our background ready to go. Now to take a good look and see if it works, you can actually click on the background and notice that it gives you the PNG, the transparent background. So I'm going to export this file, export as and export as 
a PNG, which is a transparent background. Okay. So I'm going to hit export. I'm going to put it to my desktop for now and then put it test. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. And here it is. So let's see if it's really a transparent background. I'm going to just open up a, a random image. Open with Photoshop. I'm going to drag the PNG on top. And there it is. We got a nice transparent background ready to go. Okay. I'm going to hit enter. And... I think that looks pretty clean. So I'm going to have you guys take your photos and I want you to edit out the background using this technique. Okay. Stop right here and stop recording.